whispering? Because it's like 5 in the morning. You know what else? It's day one of the FLW tour stop. That's right. I hear movement up there. I hear movement. The tour season is starting today. That's right. You've got a whole year of tournament videos starting today. What are you whispering about? Where are you? I'm upstairs. Telling secrets. <sighs> day one starts now. We gots to go. Is your alarm? Your alarm doesn't work? Alarm time! Oh look, there's Rob Matsura. Yo! Hey hey! Time to go, man! Yeah! What was that noise? I don't know. Raccoon? I don't know. Grizzly bear? Who that, man? Who that? Ah! It's right. Pilat. Who that? That's Pilat. It's me. It's, me. it's time. Tell everybody go. good morning. Good morning. Tell them what we're doing today. We're going to the FLW Tour Tournament number one, and I'm about to smack that. I can't say the rest of that. Whoa. That bass. <laughs> that bass. <laughs> we're going to smack the bass. I got sleep in my eye. Yes, you do. I'm sorry. Yes. There we go. Okay, we're ready, man. Ready. We're ready. You ready? Day one. Let's Day go. one. Okay. So guys, all seriousness here. This is day one. I gotta get it done. Big time. We'll be fishing offshore most of the day today. I like doing that. We'll see what happens. We've got Andrew. We're gonna have a some footage from Andrew today. We're gonna have hopefully some footage from Tom and hopefully some footage from BLAT as well, uh, depending on how they do and what they capture. But we wanna thank you right now. Uh, for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for supporting us, what we do. And we're gonna fish as hard as we can. We're gonna try to produce the best content this year. We're fired up, man. You fired up? You fired up? See that excitement? That's what I'm talking about. It's gonna be good. Yeah. Good. First boat check of the year right here, guys. There you go. Have a good day out there. Don't Thank worry. you. Thank you. Slow. Just throw in the boat. Right. In the line, well. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, guys, so I gotta go pick up my marshal. And just in case you didn't know, we don't have co-anglers this, uh, this year. We have Marshalls, and the Marshalls is a great program, by the way. For like 100 bucks, they get to hang out with the FLW anglers for two days, get to see how we fish, get to learn, get a chance to win money, get your name put in a hat to win a boat. I mean, it's an awesome deal, and that's who I'm picking up today. So he's actually gonna be part of the video, so that's a really cool thing. So if, you, if you're a part of the Marshall program and you get me, guess what, you're in the video. So. If you're not in the witness protection program, you'll be in good shape. Uh, what's your name, Steven? Steven Fisher. Steven, nice to meet you, man. I actually came to cheer you on and I got thrown in as, thrown in really? as a marshal. Yeah. Well, as long as you're not <laughs> in the witness protection program, you're going to be on TV. That's good. How about that? That's How great. about that? Day one, dude. Yep. Let's it's get on. it going. Nothing yet, but they're here. I can see them. Yeah. yeah. There's some singles swimming around right now. I'm not quite to the spot yet. Dude, when I was coming up, I saw these boats, and I'm like, oh, crap, dude. Everybody, Andrew Upshaw. We are officially found the same fish, but that's okay. Oh, 
Oh. oh my gosh, that's a freaking 10 pounder, dude. First fish of 2000. Oh my, oh my gosh, God, dude. God, man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now, dude. It's <laughs> a great start. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> Everything's oh, bigger in Texas. My gosh. What the heck is going on, dude? Another big one. Oh god, he pulled off, dude. I keep losing him. What the heck is going on, man? Another big one. No, little. Oh god, almighty, dude. What is going on? That felt like a good one. I felt like another big one. Really? Yeah. Nothing moved. Yep, yeah, that's another big one, dude. Yeah. He's going back down. Dude, what is going on? Dude, he's almost to the bottom again. Dude, that was crazy. It was like a grouper. Dude, they got fish guts all on their stomach sticking out. Wow, that's like a four and a half or five. There's a wad here. So guys, let me tell you a crazy story about this spot. So you see Andrew, Andrew's rooming with us. He's got another one on right now. So in practice, I found these fish and I called him. I'm like, dude, I got a big old wad of them over in this spot. Tell him where we, I was. And he's like, dude, I just caught an eight pounder over there in that same creek. Where did you catch them? So I told him and he goes, that's exactly where I just left like an hour before that. So we literally found as big as this lake is, and we're rooming together, Honestly, we found these fish completely separate, but we're starting on them. That's how it went down. You know, we share information, we talk about fishing, you know, all that good stuff, we all do. But it's just crazy, as big as this lake is, as many little drains, we happen to find the same wad of fish. It's crazy, good stuff. Uh-oh. Maybe five, should be five. Oh yeah, number five guys, how about that? Number five. Somebody's got to win it. That's a little better one. Right. A little keep. Maybe. It looks like it. Well, that's going to be good.
Oh, that one's a feet. Oh. Yeah. doggy. I only got a good one. Scott's been kicking my butt all day. Yep. And uh, you know what? I finally got you, Scott. I got one on you. What do you think of that? It's just about to leave. That's a pretty good way to start the day, huh? There we go. I thought it was grass. A little yeah. one. Ooh. I think he's gonna even keep, maybe. monster. Long time coming. Good fish though. Yep. Now we're talking. Get it, there he is. What's a good one, dude? Like a five pounder. God almighty. Okay, I gotta regroup on this one now, because I'm freaking pissed right now. That's my fault. It was a mis misplay on the fish. I got I got tangled up in the net and I didn't keep enough tension on the line. I, I mean I still had bend in the rod but still I let up tension, a lot of tension trying to grab the net and then it Yeah. Set the hook like a demon on that one. It's 
a good one. The other, the other ones are that size too. Just lost him. They spot lock. All right, number five. All right, Cullen now. Cullen again. You can turn it on. I see them, they're bass. Jumping out of the water. I want a top water work, dude. <laughs> I got one. Feels feels big, I just don't know, dude. Feels like it, but he's way out there. I just don't know. Two and a half or so. That'll help me a little bit. Well, guys, that is it. Day is over. Good day. Survived again. How about that biggin? How about that biggin? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's probably my biggest bass that I've ever caught in an FLW tournament. It's a giant. So, guys, we did it. Uh, 103. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. We're in for the day. We're not going to be leading, but we're not going to be in last. It's a four day tournament. That's all I do know. Thanks for hanging out. Saw you too, man. I am loving this live coverage that FLW is able to provide us because I saw Scott Martin act like he like was a kid almost. I mean, it was awesome watching you catch that one today, man. Or at least seeing a still photo of the result. It was uh, it was the first bite I had this morning. I hooked the fish the first time and it got off, and I thought that's a, that felt like a big one. You always always say it's a big one when it gets off, right? Well, it came back and bit about two seconds later, and it was a big one. Proved it that it was a big one. Five bass, Scott Martin, 22 pounds and two ounces in the fifth place. Oh my gosh. Just horsed it right to the boat, didn't you? Oh, it was awesome. It was, uh, came up and jumped, and I started freaking out, looking for the net. That fish, man, that fish is 35 inches long, man. Are you kidding me? Nine pounds and four ounces is our current big bass leader. Scott Martin says no way. Nine pounds, 12 ounces on that one, Scotty. Bam, there's your weight slip. We're going to need to see that fish some more. I got a feeling I'm going to see you tomorrow, man. So, yes, sir. Congratulations and a great day. All right, guys. So, uh, day one in the books, 22 pounds or so. That fish was almost 10 pounds. Almost 10. If I had just. Man, a couple more ounces would have been a 10 pounder on a spinner rod. How about that? So uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, that was a big bulk of my bag, obviously. I'm around a lot of fish, you saw. We just have to see what happens, but it's a good day one. Hopefully uh, Tom caught him. Hopefully Belak caught him. Hopefully Andrew caught him. It's 
got to get ready. It's a four-day tournament, guys. You know, as excited as I am about catching that fish, being whatever one place I'm in, I've got to do it every single day to pull off a victory here. Yeah, I got kind of lucky today. I caught about 50 or 60 fish today, and uh, I, I think I'll have a pretty good shot for it tomorrow. I think you're in great shape, man. Andrew Upshaw from Tulsa, Oklahoma, five fast limit, 19 pounds, 80 ounces, 10th place. Finish up the day with 19.8. It's a good start to the tournament. Uh, caught about 50 or 60 fish today. I got a good feeling about tomorrow. I had to watch Scott catch that giant one this morning. Kind of spun me out, but I got it back together late in the day. So hopefully we'll put it together tomorrow. Tom Reddington always smiles. We're gonna have to ditch these sunglasses here in a minute, man. It's getting a little dark out here. I've messed around and made this way in last forever. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, Texas, everybody complains about it, but this is pre-spawn. When you get around and when you finally press them, there are fish there, and man, there are some big ones as we're seeing. You know it, man. I've seen Tom catch them good all over different types of fishing. Sam Rayburn took pretty good care of you today, man. Reddington on the board, five bass with 17 pounds, 10 ounces, good for 17th place. A good day one setup day. 17 against 17, right? That's the way it rolls. <laughs> all right, guys, as you saw, kind of fun day out there. I struggled for most of it. Tried to run my pattern, didn't work out except for one spot. Man, it got good. And that's what Sam Rayburn is really cool for. There's so many big fish, and they get grouped up this time of year pre-spawn. You know, you find them in one group, and all of a sudden, once you find the honey hole, boy, it is game on. So I had a lot of fun for a little bit. And I tried to expand on it, it didn't really work. So tomorrow, I'm gonna have to really lean on that spot and hope it, hope it pays off, or I'm gonna go run to Scott's spots, then Andrew's spots. I know where there's some fish at there, so I'm gonna look for a blue boat in a neon green one. Look out guys, we're coming for you tomorrow. It's a wrap guys, day one's in the books. Time to go eat dinner. Rise and shine, fellers. Let's go down. Fellers. Oh gosh, I was really hoping you'd like step in here so I could hit you with a pillow. Be lad has been passed out. Be lad, come on, man. I ain't passed out, but come on, dude. You gotta. You need time cold. to get up and get going, dude. You gotta get. You gotta get your mind right. You gotta figure out how to catch 18, six, well, 15, 15. You get 20. Well, get 20. Go I, ahead and get 20. I was. We like, all. I need 20 out of you. I I actually was doing that, and then I got interrupted by bright lights. Oh, you were catching twenty in your mind? <laughs> yeah, I was getting my mind right. We all gotta make the cut. That's the goal for that's the goal for today. We all have to make the top thirty cut. The whole house, Tom. Right, let's do you, it. You, me, and Andrew. That'd be awesome. It would be awesome. Come on, be we got to go. go. We got to go, man. That's the go, fellas. How did y'all like watching yesterday? How about all that crazy action, huh? Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed it. Billy, what's up, man? Oh, Billy got a skillet. Hey, have fun today, dude, at the Expo. Appreciate you, you, man. Yeah, dude. Appreciate yeah, you. Dude. Jack them up. I don't know what time I'm in, like 3.30 or something? 3.20, I gotta check. Boat number! 68. 68. Oh, Mark. Man, that's way too much stuff, dude. You're gonna have to put half that back up the bank. I have it on my head, so. So this is my march from 74, dude. We're gonna jack them up today. We're gonna have some fun. Some high fiving, some data right. boys, and I how and I how about that? That's what I need out of you. All right, okay. You know, we're live checking on zip up, buckled up, and this shut off the last test of your body. We're looking for the partner to make sure he's got that live checking on. Make sure the driver has the ignition shut off the last test surely to his body. Mind you again, when I call your phone number, I'll out past the point boat before you put your boat on plane. Right, yeah. Get where you want to be. You, you're fine. We're good. Spend as much time as you want, man. No problem. Two boats is no problem here. Three, two, pro, two boats is no issue. Three boats was, look, you know what I mean. There he is. Is that a spot? <laughs> what a contrast to the first fish today from yesterday. <laughs> That's funny, guys.
begging, dude. Now, bow hook. I thought it was a giant. You know, I didn't move. Oh, yeah. Number two. No, it's okay for now. Yep. Feels good. I don't know if he's big or not. I haven't really seen him yet. Yeah, he's two and a half. 114 or 115 is that other one. Number five, and we just started. We're, I don't even know how many minutes, an hour seven into the day. Have now, with the pan optics, it's forward, it doesn't go straight under. <laughs> Dude, he was cool. Pull that 14 incher. Not bad. something I think what's some great stuff going there which I did it said all filled like 30 percent of capacity to expand it filled up that whole stick right there hot dog right. I'm a dink machine <laughs> Chunky though, I'll give him credit. Look at the fat on that. Yeah, one. yeah. He is some of my best day rig tournaments. And oh, there's a good one. Came back to a better spot. Now I should re rig. If it was a guide trip, I'd just grab him. Oh, yeah.
That's not a Chris Wilson head, but that's a head. There she is, right there. Book 68. Red for the day. Well, never had a big bite. Struggled pretty much all day. A lot of fish left. I really have no idea what to do tomorrow, other than I think I'm in the cut. Nothing to lose at this point. It's gonna really just take it as a practice day and go find some new fish. Because here's the deal. When you find them, it's lights out. So why keep fishing over stuff that I can't catch them all that good on anymore anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. 68. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. I've got a stud coming up with me right now, man. Scott Martin on the FLW Tour stage. 22 pounds, two ounces yesterday. Five bass today, trying to go fishing on Saturday. Five in the bag though, he. 11 pounds, nine ounces today, Scott, but you're in 10th place. So that gives you 20 spots to play with right here, man. B Lat, Brian Latimer. Been waiting all day, put them in there, 10 pounds and 11 ounces yesterday. Had to go swinging for them today, man. <laughs> what? Five bass in the bag today, 10 pounds and 13 ounces. Surprised you a little bit? Oh, yeah, I thought I had like eight or nine pounds. Cause I, I, man, I've been having drama all week. I don't know where Andrew is. He's probably celebrating because he's in the top 30 cut. Tom's in the top 30 cut. And I made the top 30 cut. Even with an 11 and a half pound bag. I know I stuck it up today. But this lake, as he predicted, can pump out 30 pound bags. If either one of us catch a 30 pound bag tomorrow, we, we'll scare the lead, I promise you. Because it's, it's, and the guys that caught him today might not get, I mean, it's a lot of flip flopping going on. So we did it, we made the cut. Guess what you guys get to do? You get to stay tuned for the next video for day three. That's right, a whole new video. So guys, thanks for hanging out so far. They did good. They, I hope you enjoyed it. First term of the year. Okay? I don't even know what else to say other than it's time for the meeting. Bam!